Hey, what's up you guys? It's Milo and welcome to a get ready with me video, except for a bunch of things went wrong during this video. So it's going to be an adventure to voiceover. That's my cat. He didn't, he wanted to be involved and then he didn't want to be involved. Anyways, I brushed my teeth first with my Jojo Siwa toothbrush and then I couldn't find my bubblegum toothpaste. So I was using mint uh, and you, you got to floss before you brush. Fun fact. And then, okay, it was coming out in a really weird consistently, consistently. Anyways, then I noticed that my teeth are really chipped all over the place, and I uh, I don't know how long they've been like that, so hopefully not long, but they're pretty fucked up. Uh, and then I got my face wash out. This is my morning face wash. That's what's in that little container. I've had it since I was like 12, um, and then I, I tried to get it out to wash my face, and it had turned into slime, and uh, get your minds out of the gutter. Thank you. Yep, keep them out of the gutter. Silly beans. Anyways... Uh, I washed that off my hands because it was disgusting. I got the bottle out and I was like, I'll just use the bottle. And then it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't, I could not get it to come out. So that was really great that it was doing that. I circled for a while and eventually I was able to get some out. And it was even worse a consistency than what was in my little thing. So I got out my nighttime face wash. And what's inside that one is the exact same thing, but the nighttime version. Also had that since I was 12, but the consistency was okay. So I used that and I washed my face. Got out my chapstick. I couldn't remember if this was the messed up chapstick or not. It is. It came like this. It's like just wrapped around a little pole instead of being actual chapstick. So I put it on sideways, but like, I mean, it works. Like it's chapstick, right? And then this stuff is for my nose because I'm all congested all the time, as you could hear. And then I put on this face lotion that came in a pack with the other two that I really need to get new, <laughs> new facial stuff. Uh, but then I did my makeup. I put on this concealer first and it turned me orange so i changed to this they're both from the dollar tree though so it's like you know what can you expect this is also from the dollar tree and it's uh, pretty cakey but you can't really tell on camera so like i wear it anyway that's also from the dollar tree that brush is from the dollar tree too i uh i don't really care that much that's a mascara wand that i washed with water and i use it to do my eyebrows because I don't know why would i buy a tool when i could just do that and then i also use eyeshadow and, and an eyeshadow brush for my eyebrows i couldn't find the brush i normally use and then i put eyeliner in my waterline because emo or whatever and then i put it above and then i blended that out with the same brush that i used to do my eyebrows then i use this mascara that is two separate uh, mascaras and then i put setting spray on here's the best part of the video guys i got this package from digital design x and uh i was super excited the box itself first of all is so cute like it's a cute box and then you open it and it's still cute like it was adorable i was obsessed with it i was um i knew i was gonna get a shirt from them i didn't know i was gonna get a whole freaking goodie bag okay so there was a super nice note from the owners um oh my god my cat's trying to interrupt my voiceover please get off my computer anyways i got a bunch of really badass stickers like so many stickers and you know me and my sticker wall so these are gonna go on the new sticker wall um i got this keychain this is like legit it's like wooden and it's all like carved in there it's pretty swag and then an enamel pin which is so cool i love enamel pins and i don't have that many then this bad boy i got a freaking mask from them which i'm gonna have to take to work because i work on an ambulance and i have to wear masks all the time and they're really uncomfy so i'm gonna take this bad boy because he's cute if you can hear anything in the background that's my cat but then look at the shirt you guys this shirt i am amazed by the amount of detail that is on the design and of course their logos on the back it says punk's not dead uh just look at the detail that's all i have to say about this absolutely obsessed i put that on with some like baggy pants and my heelys and then i have this hot topic skeleton jacket that i bought when i was like having a complete episode and i was off my meds but i'm so glad that i bought it because it's so cool but this shirt is super thick i expected it to be like you know any other flimsy t-shirt but it's like thick i'm wearing it in the winter time and then my camera freaking cut out uh, but I put in some fake piercings and I drew on my nose because I felt like I needed more going on in my face. I also put on a chain to the outfit. I do have my septum pierced, but those that's a fake septum because I didn't feel like stabbing my nose because it's closed. I put on this choker, which is from Not Candy. I'll link them down below as well as Digital Design X. They're a small business. I love their chokers. The owner's super sweet. I put on this necklace that I got at my local grocery store. It's called Reams. It's like a the utah grocery store i guess um i found it there for halloween and then i put on my gloves too obviously mismatched gloves i got a red stripey one and then the skeleton one and this was the full look uh again it cut out when i did my hair i'll do a hair tutorial at some point and i'll you know you'll, you'll you look on my page somewhere for that but this is the whole outfit i did a little 
a little fashion show for you. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the streets. Bye.